<laughs> Hello everyone, it's time for a new video and today it's a miracle because I'm finally going to be doing a writing video. <laughs> so it has been my plan since I started making a lot of book videos to make a weekly writing video. I have completely flopped and haven't done that for at least half a year. So <sighs> today it's just going to be like a sit down writing update where I chat to you about what I've been up to, what I've been struggling with, why I haven't made a writing video in a million years, and all that jazz. And once I'm actually finally writing, I will be doing probably weekly writing vlogs or just, you know, at least some type of a weekly writing video where I talk about writing. So for now, I the plan is to upload one writing video uh, every Friday, but if you feel like another day would be better, tell me in the comments down below because it can be literally any time. So I have been at home just like the entire world pretty much for the past I don't even know how many months and I actually right now don't have any responsibilities. I am done with all of my uh, university work and everything and so I am free to do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> For the past two years or so, I'm at home a lot, even without any sort of anything happening in the world. Still, I do try to be productive and like I want to make the most of my time and I want to work on things that uh, I'm passionate about and things that, you know, I just want to work on. But for the past two years, I have been trying to prioritize self-care a lot because my mental health hasn't been the best and I've just been a complete mess. And that was even before everything. And now I <laughs> just want to say, like, I am all about, you know, fighting for what you want in life and just being productive and whatever. But at the same time, it's extremely important to make sure that you take care of yourself because I failed at that and because of that I got into like the worst writing slump of my entire life and I haven't been properly able to write for like I don't know it could even be two years now. So I just want to say that it's okay if you are not writing, it's okay if even if you just like me don't have any responsibilities right now and you're just at home, you don't have to spend every second of your existence being productive or even like the majority of your time being productive like while it's amazing if you can work for the things that you want it is completely fine to just binge watch tv shows and watch movies and just relax because we need to do more of that like i think that one of the reasons why everyone's mental health fucking sucks is because we put so much pressure on ourselves and we have so much to do in general and then we put all of these additional things on our plate and then we go completely nuts and it's just really bad. So I just want to say before I get into all of my updates just make sure that you're taking care of yourself being kind to yourself and patient with yourself because it's a really stressful and crazy time. Uh, okay so getting to what I have been doing um, I have been overwhelmed at the thought of writing and I have just been struggling with writing on every level imaginable. Then I finally picked a book that was new but not like a new idea, it's just I hadn't really worked on it before and that's actually the same project that I work on, worked on for NaNoWriMo last November. So the draft that I wrote for NaNoWriMo didn't work because the plot I just hadn't figured it out enough and I just hadn't known the soul of the story and I just didn't know it well back then but it was the right book for me to work on at some point this year I don't even know what is time anymore so just I don't know it just happened at some point that I decided that this book is the one so the abbreviation of the title that I call it so that you can understand what I'm talking about is WAD so that is the book that I'm working on and that is the book that I will fucking finish this year and in case you are struggling with um deciding which like story to pick and which story to work on if you have a lot of them I just kind of want to quickly share how I ended up choosing this one so that maybe it could help you make that decision if you are struggling with the same thing so 
I had a look at all of my ideas and they were all and still are like equally exciting and you know they're all really different but with all of them I was just so passionate about the story, the plot, like the whole idea was just so fun and I loved the characters and everything and like it was impossible to choose because like if I had to give any of them up I would not <laughs> like it would be impossible. Um, but I decided to just kind of dig deeper and think about which one I'm the most connected to right now, like at this point in my life, which story do I want to tell the most? Which story do I think I can tell the best right now? Which main character am I feeling the most connected to? This book deals with loss and it deals with just kind of figuring yourself out, just trying to heal and taking better care of yourself and just the whole theme of it as well is just love of just like all different kinds like, i thought about all of these themes and i thought this is the book of my heart like this is the book that screams me <laughs> this is the book that i'm feeling the most connected to the one that i feel like is completely like in my character and writing about something that i care about the most and that does not mean that all the other books, all the other ideas that I have are less important to me or, you know, are not about issues that I care about. But this one was just right for the moment. It was the one that just screamed at me on a really deep level. And the main character was just one that I felt the most connected to because I feel like I have been struggling with similar things and I feel like we have a lot in common in general and I'm not saying you should write the book where the main character is like you but I feel like if they are dealing with something that you are dealing with it is a very good idea to pick that book. I'm not saying obviously not every you know not in every single case and I can't know what you are writing and maybe none of your books are about anything that you are dealing with but I just feel like there's something so powerful about writing about something that is like very close to your heart that it's something that you are actually dealing with because then first of all it makes for an extremely powerful story that can really help the people who are dealing with the same thing and at the same time number two it can really help you heal and figure your own shit out and so that's why I knew that this book was the one because first of all the main character is probably the most fun character to work on because she is such a mess and she has to figure out a lot of things and you know she is just deeply flawed but so wonderful and I love working on her development and I love working, I love being in her head, <laughs> and I just love this story, and it just felt right, and I felt the most connected to it. And I feel like it's also really important to remember that choosing a certain book that is one of your ideas doesn't mean giving up on any of your other ideas, because if all the other ideas are super exciting and they're screaming at you and you're like, oh my god, I want to write everything, if you spend a ton of time not writing anything because you can't choose one and you don't want to give a single one of them up, you won't be writing any of them, so you will be pushing yourself further away from writing all of these super exciting books when you could just pick one and work on that. And, you know, just like, if you can't pick, also just maybe try to work on one that maybe you're not 100% sure, but just give it a chance. Maybe the one that you have the most developed and try working on that. And if it's just not feeling right, then just drop that one for now and pick another one. And if, again, that doesn't work, just try it again and again until you find the book that feels right. So this book is definitely one that I will write right now and I have the goal of just finishing this book before the end of the year. Not necessarily completely finishing it with you know like rounds of edits and stuff but I just want to write this story because it means so much to me and I miss writing so much and one of the reasons why I haven't been able to write is that I've been putting so much pressure on myself and I've been treating it kind of like a job in a way even though it is absolutely not my job at this point in my life and I have just been putting so much pressure on myself and treating it as like a task to get done instead of something that I'm actually passionate about and I know that especially if it is your job then you have to just have you know discipline and like 
actually like push yourself into it even if you don't want to but at the beginning of it all it's really important to just pick a story that you're passionate about and just get excited for it you know and just like do the things that are not necessarily productivity but like that get you excited for it like make pinterest boards like make aesthetic boards like make playlists for your book and do all of these other things that are not necessarily productive but like they still add to the book they inspire you and push you into writing the book and so they are productive in a way you know as long as you don't spend uh, the like dedicated writing time only doing that it is wonderful to do that if it helps you you know feel better about everything and just remember that you don't have to do this like you don't have to write you don't have to do any of this shit <laughs> like we do it because we are passionate about it it is something that we love do we love every single part of the process absolutely not but it is something that in general we love so much that we could never give it up no matter how difficult it gets so don't give up writing and just find your passion for it if you have kind of lost it like me and just get excited for it pick a project that is just fills your heart with joy and excitement and promise of such a fun fucking adventure and just don't forget that like you are choosing to write and yes it will get hard but it is something that you love like we love this shit that's why we do all of this and that is something that i kind of forgot and i just kept pushing myself into it and treated it as something that i had to do even though i absolutely don't like, we could just, you, maybe, you have an actual, you know, full-time job and you are writing because you love it and you want writing to be your job, but still, it is something that you are choosing and don't have to do. And for me, like, I don't have a job yet and I would like writing for, to be my job, but like, I don't have to do this. Like, I can just finish university, find a normal job, and and there but I know that that's not what I want like I know that I want to tell stories and I want to write books and I just want it for me and I want people to enjoy my stories and meet my characters and like I want this and I don't have to do any of this shit but I want to so badly that I could never get up give it up and that like I have missed writing so much and I need it back like I need to write I need to hang out with my characters I need to tell all these stories so they mean so much to me and I hope that they could mean something to other people too and I think that it's extremely important to remember and um yeah so yes okay so I am trying to write again and I have been kind of for the past few months it's not that I haven't been writing I have written 15,000 words of this new draft since I don't know earlier this year so I have written something and I've definitely been moving very slowly and every time I write I don't write for that long but moving slowly is still moving you know even if you write one sentence every day you are still making progress so like every bit of progress is still progress and that is something to um remember you know like if you don't have much time or if you don't have much energy every word counts every word is progress even every moment that you spend thinking about your book and figuring your book out it's still progress and so that is really important to remember and like give yourself credit for even the smaller things the smaller steps that you make towards your goals and yeah <laughs> oh my god every time i'm like okay i just want to tell you about what i'm doing and then i turn it into a pep talk and i just can't help myself like i have missed this so much <laughs> so yes so i have been slowly writing and right now I actually it is camp nanowrimo time i haven't even mentioned that the entire video so i created my project there and i put in the goal of thirty thousand words because i felt like it is definitely more than I have written in a while but it is not as daunting as 50,000 words and so I would like to try that but my main goal is to just write every day at least a little bit and to start vlogging about writing again because I love it so much and I miss it so much and and just immerse myself into the story and just fall in love with it again and that's like the main thing that I want right now 
and this year in general. And so yeah, I'm doing that. So definitely if, if you are participating in Camp Nanoremo, tell me in the comments down below. So I'm definitely moving quite slowly. I, it, I'm filming this on the 3rd of July, so you know, at the very beginning. And I uh, haven't been able to write that much in the past few days because I have been a little bit busy, but I have written something. So, you know, it um, counts. And I want to create at least a little bit of a routine. Like, I have found out <laughs> that I'm super weird and I can't handle strict routines because it makes me anxious because I'm just like, Literally, like, it's my own rule. Like, I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna write from 8 to 10 every evening. And that makes me anxious because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I have to write from 8 to 10. And, like, I <laughs> can't not, even though it's completely up to me. So, yeah. So, I don't want a strict routine. But I do want to write every day. And I need more discipline. And I need to just be more organized instead of just floating in time. And so, I think what I want to do is... Um, either write every evening or like write every day after lunch or after dinner or something like that that is kind of like structure and like a clear time but not as clear as actually setting like an exact time and yeah I feel like if I actually set a time to write every day and if I just spent at least two hours writing every day I could write so much more than I have been because usually nowadays I write for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes tops and I could write so much more than that because I am free every single day <laughs> So that is where I'm at. I think I have covered mostly everything that I wanted to talk about but Yeah, if you have any suggestions or requests of what I should be talking about in my uh, Future writing videos, please tell me in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it And, in, and if you're excited for more writing videos. Again, I will absolutely be still doing a ton of book videos and they will be the majority for now at least, but um, every Friday or just at least just any day once a week I will be doing or trying to do a writing video. So definitely get excited and yeah, tell me in the comments also just how you're doing with writing and everything and yes, that's gonna be it. Have a great day and I'm gonna see you soon in another video. Bye!